Well, hey everybody, I'm uh, gonna help you today with a uh, problem that we run into a lot. An I-line circuit breaker inside of an I-line circuit breaker panel. We've got a faulty breaker. How do you change that guy out and what's the safe process to do that? So today we're gonna show you a quick walkthrough. Of course, this is a demo. This is set up just for demonstration, just for, for training purposes only. But uh, if this were in an enclosure or in a live environment, you'd have, of course, your can, your enclosure, and you'd have the trim kit or the door assembly around it. So I've already removed the corner screws that hold this dead front on. We're going to take that out of the way just for simple. Then we're going to take and remove our bad breaker. We always want to turn the breaker off. Of course, we show you a little shot here this is where your power would come in this would be your a b and your c phase connections for your three phase power coming into the panel so with that being said the breaker's off we're going to loosen one one little retainer just a little screw there i'm going to back him out then you take your screwdriver and i'll show you a close-up in just a moment of how these fit in but you just walk it out you just slide it right out, it leverages out of there. And this is our bad breaker, just a I-line circuit breaker, 100 amp three pole. Now, now we've got a new breaker. Before we install that, I wanna give you a little bit of a breakdown on it. Right here we've got, you can see these little inserts. This separates, these insulators separate A, B, and C phase. They're little copper jaws inside there that will actually connect to the bus bar when we slide it back in the panel. So that's how you'll make your connection and this is how you'll insulate between those connections. On the other end of the breaker, the part that slides it in and mounts it, you'll notice right here you've got what we call the foot. There's two little hooks right here and right here. The hooks will actually slide into an area on the panel to help you slide it in once it's installed, this little screw right here, that's just your little starting screw. That is a just a retainer screw that will help you mount it to the panel and hold it in place. So now we're gonna show you how to install a replacement breaker in your panel. Okay, now we've got our new circuit breaker. We've got our replacement I-line circuit breaker. We showed you the parts, the feet, the crown, the jaws, but now let's see a little up close about what we're gonna install and what this actually means. Okay, the jaws we mentioned a moment ago, they're gonna actually go on the, the bus bar here. You'll see the shiny portions. This is technically, this is A, B, and C phase, your three phase uh, bus bar. Square D laminates them on top of each other, and what they've done, they've put this red insulator board between each phase to allow you to have separation, because you don't want phase to phase or phase to ground shorts uh, taking place. You would be the first one to know it. Uh, that would cause a problem with your with your application. All right, so now we see the bus and we understand the insulators. Now I want to tell you a little bit about what we call the teardrops. Point them out to you there. We talked about the hook or the foot of the, the breaker itself. This little notch right here, there's one on each side. That's going to go in the teardrop, this opening. This is a slide cavity that lets you install the breaker and move it forward. So that's your what we call the teardrop, and then the circular hole, that's gonna be what actually your retaining screw will sit in that and will tighten down, and it'll make the breaker stationary where it can't move forward and backwards to create vibration or heat. So now we've got that. We're gonna install the new breaker. Really simple. I like to make sure the breaker's turned off. So let's take and set it up there like that. <coughs> make sure your screw is backed out where it doesn't get in a bind. We'll make sure that your hook right here sits down all the way against the back panel into the teardrop. When it does, just put a little pressure against it where it stays in behind. Simply take your little screwdriver and you're gonna stick it in one of the squares like this, but it through the hole of the base of the breaker and just walk it onto the bus. It's that easy. Then you're gonna take your retainer screw. It should line up in your round hole there. Tighten that down. There you go. Now that we leave that one off for just a minute, now that we've got it secured and you understand the, the feet, the teardrops, the jaws, the insertion, 
Now let's move forward and we're going to reinstall our dead front cover. Okay, now we got our circuit breaker installed. That was fairly easy. Now we're going to take our dead front. We're going to reinstall that. And it's real easy. Just hook it over the top. But you want to make sure that you're, you are above this insulation. So you want to cap that off just like that. Sits over your breaker. It helps to seat against your breaker nicely. Go ahead and start your screws in there. Be good to go. They're a little stubby. Sometimes they got a little starter thread there. Help you get them going. Hopefully this has been helpful. It's a pretty simple process, but sometimes we I do talk to guys that are just getting started out and they're, I understand if you, you get a little apprehensive or a little nervous around the power, there's, there's no shame in that game. You want to be safe around it. You want to use your head and have common sense and not just rip into it. So, so there you go. That's the uh, removal and installation of a three pole eyeline circuit breaker. Uh, pretty easy. If you happen to uh, come across some of this equipment and you're wanting to get rid of it or you have used or new equipment, we'll buy that surplus equipment. Also, we'll service it or we have parts in stock if you need them. Again, guys, uh, just subscribe to the channel below. You can find all the links there. You know the drill. So, uh, again, we thank you for everything you do. God bless.